Well, hello there. Hello. 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 Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Small Town Babe Live. We are in the tool shed in the back of Grace Fellowship Church in Avis. And it is ladies' choice today. It is an all-female squad. And we're going to talk music. Um, We're going to talk about our influences, what we like, what we don't like. What you should really get into that you haven't heard of before, and what is really awful. So uh, buckle up, we're going to get started. Uh, We've got some lovely ladies here on the broadcast. We've got Miss Julie Banks. Um, So if you were a Spice Girl, you would be Sporty Spice? I would be Sporty Spice. Okay. How'd you guess? Backwards hat? Backwards hat, (laughs) kind of does it. And then Jen Gotcha, who is the owner of the Gateway Cafe. Yeah. So would you be Pumpkin Spice? Oh. Maybe. No. No. (laughs) I'm just kidding. And then Laurel Davis over here on my left. And since you're the youngest, would you be Baby Spice? Sure. I never got enough into the Spice Girls to actually analyze which spice was which. <laughs> well, it's a it's a small spice drawer, spice rack, I suppose mm-hmm. I should say. That would suit me as I am five foot two. Yes. Baby Spice was quite Baby. short. She yeah, had the big, what? big, big platform big shoes. Platforms, mm-hmm. yes. Well, Spice Girls, man, that takes you back too. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I'm Jackie Brown, and if I was a Spice Girl, I would obviously be old spice (laughs) but anyway um so yeah talking about music first of all what were you listening to in the car on the way here oh my gosh that's so funny (laughs) (laughs) we we were jamming out to um i was just talking to you earlier we had some old school salt and pepper on yeah some old school salt and pepper and um sean mendez Sean Mendes was I on. love Sean Mendes. He's so good with his lyrics. Mm-hmm. He's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, we do a lot of Haley Steinfeld. Have you ever heard of Haley Steinfeld? She's really good. I've heard of her as, as an actress. Yeah, she's, yes. she's got she does music, music too. too. I didn't know that. She's, she's super awesome. multi-talented. Ah, I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, huh. she's super multi-talented. <clears throat> Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Of uh, that. She does a... Um, does a song with him. Huh. It was really good. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Very cool. How about you? What were you listening to on the way in? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> because I knew I'd have to conjure up my variety of songs that I know. Mm-hmm. And so after playing Hit by Mama Moo, which is a K pop girl group, just because it was my head, I put on the soundtrack to Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist because it has a variety. <laughs> nice. That is a good, I love that when a movie has a really good playlist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And sometimes that's a better reason to watch the movie than For the sure. movie yeah. itself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Definitely. I got the music one. in me, Wrecking Ball. Nice. Nice, nice. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. There was a Sean Mendes one on there, too. Uh, which one was it? No, I'm, don't speak. That's a good one. I'm the same way with the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Awesome mm-hmm. 70s tracks. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're mm-hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we, we just watched a really cool movie, uh, and they had Nirvana open it up. Oh, it yeah. Was Nirvana, smells like, smells like Spirit. Teen Spirit. There's a girl singing it. Malia, oh, I think her yeah. name is or something like that. Yeah. I downloaded it immediately. Interesting. But her mix of yeah. it was, like, so cool. As soon as it started playing, I was like, this is amazing. Yep. Pulled right in. So Interesting. Good. Between the girl cover and the remix, I actually so want to listen to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really good. And that's another, um, just let's go down that rabbit hole. One of the things I really like is covers mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. just taking a song and taking it in a whole other direction. Um, I know there's a, there's a version of Mr. Brightside. Oh, um, yeah. You know Mr. Brightside? Yeah. Yes. I just and, heard a remix of that yeah. as well and it's slow and it's yeah. sad and it's yep. got violence and you listen to the lyrics and then you go that's what that was about mm-hmm. yeah you can hear how it you hear I it not, in a different yeah, uh, yeah how did i not even see that <laughs> exactly. i love that but like smells like teen spirit i mean mm-hmm. at the beginning yeah. of a movie like does she slow it down it's slow oh, it's so slow mm-hmm. yeah slow like down and it's real it's like dangerous. i'm obsessed with it right now nice yeah, it's yeah. super cool like huh. it's on like repeat right now <laughs> There's a there's a super slow version of uh, Beyonce's Crazy in Love. I love yes. that. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. Kind of sultry. Mm-hmm. It's kind of the same with this. Like it's just yeah. like it's such a different flavor. It's cool so vibe. cool. Yeah. yeah. But then it makes you want to go back and listen to yes. the original yeah. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. Although stuff like The Sound of Silence, I've heard so many like super super so slow covers, 
and the original was like kind of a medium fast pace to begin with and it just added to like the urgency yeah. of the song yeah that like all these covers are just taking away from it i feel like well simon and garfunkel on the original sound of silence i mean it was very very political so it's got that mm-hmm. it's got that sort of late 60s early 70s political bob dylan strumming on mm-hmm. guitar kind of feel to it yeah but then like disturbed did it and they're <laughs> they slowed it way down <laughs> under the silence mm-hmm. you know is it takes on a completely different meaning. Although my favorite cover of that was from Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Mm. If I had to choose a cover. Yeah, that was good. It was real good. Um, so what kind of music did you grow up with? Like, did your parents listen to a certain kind of music? Or was it just I, whatever? I would say my parents were pretty, I guess, eclectic. My mom would listen to a bunch of different things. Um, my dad more like heart, mm-hmm. um, queen. That my mom liked that stuff too. But and then country too. My okay. like my mom liked country, and my grandparents listened to country, so I was with them a decent amount. So a lot of country. I'm a country girl. So now you still listen to country? Yes, a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, I did not <laughs> know of, that. Yeah, a lot of country. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> what did you grow up with? Same kind of thing, just a mix of everything. Um, Country, rock, um, R and B, hip hop, rap, and now you listen to a hodgepodge. Yeah, I listen to a hodgepodge of everything. I could go from Aretha Franklin to Disturbed to Metallica mm-hmm. to Shawn Mendes to everything. Michael Jackson, Jackson mm-hmm. Five, that is um, hardcore. Everything. Yeah, everything, everything, everything. Mm-hmm. everything. That's I love it awesome. all. Yeah, I love it all. Now you have an even <laughs> more different perspective because. You, you know, grew up in a certain environment with certain music, but then you went to school for it. So then you had a whole nother perspective of music. So what did you grow up with? I grew up with like late 80s to early 2000s country and CCM. And that's what I listened to up until like my mid teens. And then I did a, well, I was terrible at narrowing down paper topics in high school until like later on. And so I was originally going to do like the culture of the 60s and counterculture of the 60s, whatever. It narrowed down to like music and stuff, whatever. But that's where I, when I got into the Beatles and looking mm-hmm. at the Beatles actually expanded my horizons to a lot of other stuff. Like mm-hmm. in high school, my dad was like, wait, you've never heard Living on a Prayer? Mm-hmm. I'm like whose fault is that? <laughs> yeah, there you have it. <laughs> but it, it, it actually wasn't going to music school that... Uh, broaden my genre it was just looking things up myself even before college that's cool mm-hmm. and then yes i got a degree in it <laughs> and now you listen to k-pop i i have been on a massive k-pop stint in the last few months i apologize for the ma- for the large amount of plugs i'm going to put in probably but how did you get into k-pop was it through like <laughs> tiktok videos and things like that no or? no actually so i was texting my best friend one night and she's like I'm addicted to lo-fi help and I was just like you should try k-pop lol (laughs) like totally kidding just because like if you get into k-pop you don't get out of Uh, k-pop if you guys don't know k-pop is Korean boy band not just boy band but like Korean I'm so thankful that you said that because I was like okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. (laughs) but like no no, Korean pop yeah yeah Mm -hmm. yeah but I think that's really interesting, and uh, I know your sister was into it too because you were talking. I to dragged me. her into yeah, it. Yeah, you sure. were talking to I'm me sure about somebody, and she was just like, "Yeah, it's, it's that person <laughs> with this thing, and then it's really cool." <laughs> so yeah, she knew exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, I was talking about Winter Flower by Yunha featuring R. R- what was I going to say? RTM. RM. Mm. Yeah, I can't say I've personally listened to K-pop. I know what it is. Mm-hmm. Um. But, you know, I listened to a little bit of it on, on your phone the other day, and it was definitely interesting. Lots of harmonies, lots of um, girl band, boy band kind mm-hmm. of things. Um, I grew up like you guys did with a lot of different music, but where you were predominantly country, I was predominantly classical and opera. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, we listened to a lot of opera. We listened to a lot of um we watched a lot of operas and things like that. Mm. My mom was an art history major, so... 
it kind of figures. Yeah. Um, but then we also listened to the Beatles. I still have my mm-hmm. mom's Beatles records. It's my prize possession. Um, the Doors. Uh, mm, and yep. it really got me into uh, bands and different groups and just regular single artists, but with great harmonies, mm-hmm. like Fleetwood Mac. Oh, oh yeah. Fleetwood Mac. I yes. love Fleetwood Mac. And artists, and this is something we were talking about on Sunday, artists that are passionate yes. and get mm-hmm. into mm-hmm. the song. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, Stevie Nicks yeah. saying, you never get away from the sound, you know, just. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like to tell you, like, I like the passion that you yeah. can feel. Yeah, that they, they get, like, the goosebumps, like, oh, yeah, I like feel like some they're really into it. Dude in a coffee house didn't write this for you. Mm-hmm. Right. You wrote this yeah. because it's... you were feeling that. Mm-hmm. And there's a song, Shawn Mendes song, um, about his struggles with in mental health in my blood. Yeah. Yes. In my blood. Yes. yes. Rip my heart out. I did a cover of it once. Yeah. <laughs> about how he's yeah. struggling and he's on the mm-hmm. floor. And, yeah. And you just feel it, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. genuine. Yeah. And it's I I respect the artist more for that Absolutely. for letting themselves see. Yeah. I feel like them he's, out there. he's like that a lot with his music. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that I feel that in a lot of his music. I like his stuff. I've mm-hmm. I've there was a documentary about him on Netflix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would I knew who he was. Before that, and I knew a couple of his songs, and then after that, I downloaded everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like yeah, I didn't see that, but huh. that would be interesting. He's, one. he's interesting too. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's got an interesting dynamic, interesting family dynamic thing, and then the the girlfriend that I can't think of her name. Camila right Cabello. That Camilla one. Cabello. <laughs> you know, and she's in it. Um, yeah, but it was really it really opened my eyes to like what his struggles were to get there yeah and and now that he's here what he's doing and it just was it was very very mm-hmm. honest mm-hmm. so i like that i like that a lot rather than just you know let's sing about tacos yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? i wish there were songs about tacos on mm-hmm. the radio yeah i mean there should be songs about tacos we could write for songs sure about tacos. i should make one you should there you go i should write one yeah. goals that's one, go. the, that's one of the things with a lot of the um concerts that you go to like i love when like performance wise when you can feel the band or the the group or whoever's singing, like you can feel it. Like you just like something special about it. Being at a concert and they're pouring their hearts out, or they're you know, oh, it's yeah. not just about music for them. This is their life. This is their poet poetry. This is how they express themselves. It's just so neat. And I think it makes a difference too in the whole experience of a concert too. If mm-hmm. the person's just not into it mm-hmm. and they're dialing mm-hmm. it in. It sucks. Mm-hmm. Um, We've been to a few of those. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, tell me about somebody you saw that was just. I so, don't want to. I don't want to blow. I, I have. I have one. Yeah. Casey Musgraves. Yeah, I didn't want to say the name. But I don't care. Ooh, it doesn't. She's okay. not going to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's not. Oops, oh, sorry. Was she just not she might. <laughs> feeling it? No, I. I was like, this is awful. This is like the worst thing ever. Yeah, you could tell. I felt like she was just standing up there and just playing. There was nothing. Like she had no expression. Maybe it was she very was just blah. Having a bad day. Yeah. I don't know. She Maybe. looked like she was very angry. Huh. And, I was um, so disappointed. Pain? Yeah. Wow. Huh. But I had different vibes about her anyway, so I was kind of like, eh. But um, is that the same one you were gonna say? There was a, that, and there was an, a, another one, or where you just kind of like, oh, they're just not. I don't like. You just are like, what's going on? Like, I don't yeah. know. But then you don't know. Maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe mm-hmm. they're homesick. Maybe something's going on. But like, you just can tell, like, and you can feel it within everybody else around you too. Where you're like, mm-hmm. well, that's kind of disappointing. But yeah, and it sucks because you do pay so much to go see somebody mm-hmm. most of the time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, unless you win tickets or something, but yeah, it would, there's an investment of time. There's an investment of money. You want to, mm-hmm. you want to hear good stuff. Have you, have you seen a lot of concerts yet? You're still a young. That requires money. I was going to say, you're still <laughs> a young. It does. You have lots of time. I've, I haven't been to a lot of concerts. I've probably been to more musicals than I have concerts, and I've probably been in more musicals than I've been to musicals. But you, but you understand too that you know if somebody's having a bad night, mm-hmm. yeah. or they're distracted, mm-hmm. and they're just not feeling it, even yeah. in a musical. I, was just, I yeah. was just thinking, like you sing a certain song a certain number of times, and there's not as much meaning in it to you anymore. Mm-hmm. And so, like, if you're not like blatantly thinking about like what the song's about each and every single time, it's easy to like. Oh, what am I going to eat for dinner tonight? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> well, you think about you know Broadway plays, and they're doing two shows a day, yeah. singing the same song. You know, Phantom of the Opera singing the song about 
her father oh, yeah. being dead in front of his grave. And then all of a sudden, did I leave the iron on? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what if they had that moment? Yeah. And, and it kicked them True. out of the emotion of it. They're human as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> I went to a concert. It was Third Eye Blind. And they were awesome. But... The lead singer of Third Eye Blind, the really hot looking mm-hmm. guest. Mm-hmm. I don't know his name. We know exactly who you're I talking know. about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't even remember I what feel genre Third Eye Blind is. Uh, alternative. Alternative. Ish. Yeah. Um, Ish. He was dating the chick that did that really obnoxious song about going a thousand miles. Okay. Vanessa, okay. Vanessa okay. Carlson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, well, he was. After after you've heard it 40 million times, mm-hmm. it gets a little annoying. Mm-hmm. It does. You know. <laughs> it does. <laughs> he was dating her. At the time, and she opened, but they had had a fight mm. oh. just before she went on. So she was, this was at Hershey, she was swearing up a storm and just F this and F that. I'm going to wow. play the F and song. And then she just played it and didn't even care. Wow. And it's just like, oh, great. That's not good. Thanks, Thanks for that. Thanks for that. <laughs> you know, when Third Eye Blind came on, they were great. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't care. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh, awesome. Um, but yeah, it just really brought the whole experience mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I'll never look at her the same yeah. way. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so that was a really bad concert. But what about a really good concert? <sighs> There's a bunch of them. Um, um, I mean, oh, man. Uh, Martina McBride. Yeah. Little Big Town. Mm-hmm. Huh. Puts on an incredible show, um, an incredible show. Maroon Five, mm-hmm. Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood. Wow, you've seen a lot of yeah. people. Keith Urban, oh, man. Um, yeah, I mentioned Keith Urban so on Sunday. Just yeah. when he came out, um, you know, usually the star of the show, mm-hmm. he, he was like the main event, and usually for the main event, there's this big like ruckus when they come on. But he walked out. Lights were still up on. And he just walked out with his guitar and just started playing. And I was like, is that him? Is he? He's just playing. (laughs) And he was like in it. And I was like, this is the best thing ever. Like, so cool. Just no pretension. Just. Yeah. How y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so cool. That's very cool. I would say um, I really liked one of my big like fangirl thing is Jason Aldean and Eric Church. Those are two of my fave country ones. Eric Church is like Fleetwood Mac. Really? The lead singer in Eric Church, like, you can, like, feel Oh, yeah, his, he's in it. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. his passion. It's just amazing. Passion. You just want to cry because he's just, like, yeah, he's really, yeah. really good. Getting into it. Yeah, so yeah. into it. Um, Breaking Benjamin back in the day was really oh, good. Gosh. We saw them a few times. They were on my um, worst list. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Why? Oh, oh, you guys can compare experiences. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Well, I saw them... In a club in State College, not in a oh, stadium. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And yeah. they were all hammered. Yeah. Oh, I just, was going to... Yeah, yeah, it might make the difference. Yeah. yeah. It, they were in just blitzed. Mm. And mm. it was in I, the cell block in State College, oh. which is shaped like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. yeah. So I was yeah. at the very top, and they We've were like... We've never been there. Never. <laughs> just kidding. They were throwing never. things, and they were just... Oh, oh yeah, that's disappointing. No. Just, bleh, it's like, oh, man. But, yeah. They were really good when we saw them at Montage Mountain, I think. I forget who they opened. Did they open for somebody? Or were they yeah, named? they opened for, that was the, that was the Stained and the Three Doors Down. Oh, yeah, Three Doors Down was really Three good. Three Doors Down was really, really good. Huh. I don't know. There's just a ton. I can tell you a funny one that I went to. What's that? I went, I took my dad to see Meatloaf. Okay. <laughs> and it was phenomenal. I bet. I loved it. I was like, this is so random. And I took him, and it was it was so much fun. He's got an amazing set of pipes. Oh, my goodness. Just, it was so cool. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right. I mean, like, I knew his music or whatever I listened to. It. I was a little bit obsessed with, you know, Bad Out of Hell. Mm-hmm. And it was just, it was so cool. I was like, man, this is really good. That's nice. Nice. We talked about Lady Gaga. Oh. Was so good. And that was another one where it just kind of happened. We had a friend that had some tickets. The people they were going with fell through. I'm like, so crazy, Can you Charlie, come? about that. We were up. We were close, too. Like, just rub it in. I know. We, it was just, in, well, no, we had seats way in the, like, upper realm. Mm-hmm. And then we were walking around, and this guy was like, hey, do you guys want closer seats? Mm-hmm. And we were like, what do you mean? We I thought it was a joke. Mm-hmm. But he was, like, working the – he was – yeah, we can take you down in the front. I'm like, we and got we two other friends with us. He's like, oh yeah, bring them. Can they come bring them down? Mm-hmm. Nice. We went down. It was and awesome. Like, 
her passion. Yeah. Performance. Yes. Um, just was incredible. Like so incredible. Just it's just it was amazing. It was could, she. It's uh, we have some conversation starters on on paper that I started out with earlier in the week just to make sure we could get going. And one of them for me was the artist that you would give your right arm to see. Um, and mm-hmm. for me, it's it's Lady Gaga. Yeah. yeah. Just um, like I told you two the other day that she is next week she is singing at Madison Square Garden mm-hmm. for Tony Bennett yeah. with Tony Bennett for his 95th birthday. And it's two nights only on his birthday and like the next day. And it's like a thousand dollars a ticket for nosebleed seats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was still just like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> do Can I we not need this? to yeah. <laughs> Can I not pay the rent? What, what are we doing? But oh man, I would I would love to see her. I would love to see Adele. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just and again the passion, passion. just yeah. the Yep. You know, really feeling the yep. music and not having it be canned. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. How about you? Like, have you seen something just really, really good? Mm. Putting me on the spot here. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I haven't been to a lot of concerts. Like trying to choose one out of the few concerts that I've been to. Mm-hmm. Like I've been to a Switchfoot concert and I've been mm-hmm. to a few like group concerts like Winter yeah. Jam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I recently actually split a ticket with my best friend for a virtual BTS concert. Oh, Ooh, that'd be interesting. I woke up at 5.15 a.m. because time difference between Korea and here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I woke my sister up for it, too, because we were at the same computer, obviously. And... We stayed up from 5 a.m. till 8 or 8.30. <laughs> but it was so good. And was it as effective being virtual? It, was it still just really, like, rocking? I mean, I'm sure it, the energy is different if you're, like, actually in person with a bunch of other fans mm-hmm. and stuff. Although I don't know how much you would be able to hear the sound quality with that many people. But it's at least not like Beatles concerts where people are screaming so loud that it's not even worth it because you can't hear them. Mm-hmm. There is that. I mean, that. like if you went to a Backstreet Boys concert oh, yeah. or an NSYNC mm-hmm. concert. Your girls screaming. You wouldn't hear anything. Yeah. Mm-mm. You know, I'm sure people are screaming very loudly at BTS I'm concerts sure. as well. I'm but sure I think we are. also just really want to actually hear. Yeah. yeah. That's cool, though. It's I, I think it's interesting what people have had to do, you know, with COVID mm-hmm, and everything yeah. else with virtual concerts and postponing <laughs> concerts and pushing concerts. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to see what comes out, you know, in the next few months, what dates get rescheduled for yeah. things and what people come up with. Yeah. Because um, literally the, the Friday before COVID happened, I was at that Christian concert yeah, at right. the Mohegan Sun mm-hmm. Arena. It was a... Almost like a winter jam kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that was Friday. And then the next Friday, Friday the 13th, Mm -hmm. the whole world shut down. Mm -hmm. So it's crazy. I went to winter jam like a couple weeks before I was sent back home for COVID. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Like back home from college. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited to see things pick up Mm -hmm. and to to go see some live music again. Um, is there anybody that you've seen more than once? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've actually been to like a, we've we, been to a, we go to hundreds a of, of concerts, I think. Are you yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. I love, that was before COVID. Like that was our That's concerts, our jam. Like, oh my goodness. Live music. We've seen music. so many people. Mm-hmm. A lot of country. <clears throat> a lot, lot of country. country. A fair share of Christian fair artists. Sh- yeah. Christian A lot concerts. of like pop um, or um Classic rock, like Three Doors so, Down. Yeah. We've seen um, Nickelback. Nickelback. Several like, times. Like twice, I think. Um, um, Luke Bryan, we've seen a couple times. Uh, like I saw else? Matchbox Twenty when they were in State oh, College. Mm. Oh, I wanted to mm-hmm. see that's they one were, that that would have been. They were really great. Just the energy, yeah, it was yeah. really really yeah. great. That's one. Yeah, would, yeah. Wait, yeah. Justin Timberlake. Um, <gasps> we saw him in State College, and mm-hmm. his energy. And I know he's huge, like he's a big star, but he seems so humble still mm-hmm. and just like genuinely loves performing and entertaining. And he's very active with the audience. His stage went through the audience, actually. It was a really cool set. And he Neat. was down in there and with his band and everybody. Um, he was really cool, too. 
but we've seen a lot of a lot of country. Garth Brooks. Yes. Garth Brooks is really good. We he was him. awesome. I that think was... I think we were at the same show and we didn't know each other Probably. at the time. Yeah. But in State College. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Garth Brooks did how how old is Garth Brooks? Do you know? Mid fifties? Maybe. Something like he, that. I always think Garth is younger than he is. I'm Yeah. It up. Maybe I think he's older than he is. And the <laughs> dude jumped on mm-hmm. the top of the drum set. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was he was just it was crazy. like a wild man. He's a and maniac. Then, and then he had to do a whole nother show like two hours later. Yes, he did. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. I, it was insane. He was doing like two days a weekend, like yeah. several shows back to back. I don't know how he's he doing it. He is. That was an awesome. That mm-hmm. was an awesome how old concert. Is he? Garth Brooks he is, is 59, 59 years old. Okay, yeah. 59. Okay. Yeah. And Trisha was there mm-hmm. and yep. she sang too. And mm-hmm. I love me some Trisha cooking because she's mm-hmm. a great cook. Um, since I'm a foodie, but Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that big into country, not to, I know, I know the people you're talking Mm -hmm. about, but I couldn't tell you some of the songs that they sing. Mm -hmm. Um, but that even not being a a big, big country fan, that show was killer. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Like probably the, the most energy I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, Dave Matthews band, when they were in their prime, uh, when I was in college, I think I saw Dave Matthews Band seven times. Mm-hmm. When I was in that college. was the thing. A lot of people, that, yeah. yeah. A lot of people like followed. Yeah, I didn't follow, but I I went to a lot. I went to mm-hmm. a lot of shows. I never went to. He's awesome. I never. I've never gone to a Dave Matthews show either. It's, Love him. Never did. <laughs> just the the harmonies yeah. and the passion, and then jamming out. Just you know, going into a, a just a jam session mm. with the yep. the drummer all and the different all the different instruments, instruments yep. one at a time, and they're just they're playing yeah. with each other in a really yeah. fun way. John Mayer's the same way. I've seen John Mayer like five or six times too. Oh. Love you, John. If you're watching. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sob Rock, available now. <laughs> um, but he just will start jamming into a, a guitar solo mm-hmm. and just, you know, bending into it, just wah, just really getting his whole body mm-hmm. into it. And everybody else is just standing back, just, all right, John. <laughs> yeah. Were you done with the solo yet? We need to finish the song. It'd be good. Um, yeah, he's amazing. I love John Mayer. John Mayer is one of those CDs or downloads i suppose you would say that just never gets old Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, me mm -hmm. you know having a good day having a bad day john mayer Mayer. you know yeah i could put that on just about any day of the week um one of the questions i was going to ask was do you find that you listen to different styles of music depending on what you're doing absolutely okay so like what like if you're baking or cooking, do you listen to a certain kind yes, of music? Yes, it depends on the time of year and it depends on what's going on. Absolutely. Like Christmas time, obviously, Mariah Carey. Oh, yeah. Um, and Destiny's, <laughs> there's a Destiny's mm-hmm. Child um, Christmas that I listen to that I'm slightly obsessed with. It was a college thing. That's a throwback right yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll look it up. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like the... In Christmas time, the people that emerge from their hibernation are Mar- Mariah Carey and Michael Bublé. Michael yes. Bublé, yes. yes. That, those those three, the Destiny's Child I added in, um, but that comes on. There's a song called, like, Eight Days of Christmas that I will play on repeat. It's, it's like, really it's good. It's really ridiculous, <laughs> but I know it is what it is. Um, so morning time, it just depends on what I feel like, but sometimes I'll throw on the contemporary Christian Sometimes it'll be like I use Pandora, so Mm -hmm. I have like my playlist. So workout obviously is like like workout, like pump you up music. Mm -hmm. And um, like I have a Matchbox Twenty station that plays like Matchbox Twenty, Third Eye Blind, um, you know, Three Doors Down. That's all that like that is like I can listen to all the time. Then every once in a while, I throw in other random stuff. The Haley Steinfeld Mm -hmm. station. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up because I love her. I I knew, like I said, I knew she acted. Mm -hmm. She was great in that new version of uh, True Grit. She Mm -hmm. was fantastic in that movie, but I didn't know she sang. Mm -hmm. She does. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, she's cool. I'll definitely check that out. How about you? Do you, like, when you're driving all these different places for work, Mm -hmm. is there certain things you listen to or, you know, compared to when you're jamming out at home? I'm, I'm like, Super ADD and scatterbrained, so that's how my music flow is too. Like okay. I'm, I'm all over the place with it. I've got, I'll have Christian pop up, and then Elvis Presley will be on, and then 
the just, hardcore rock and then some rap. Yeah, like it doesn't. Like Disturbed will pop on. Yeah, I you know, a, whatever. A ballad. I'll be <laughs> just singing Whitney Houston mm-hmm. and then Tony Braxton and then Metallica and then. Um, yeah. It's just, it's all over It's all over the place. That's cool, though. Yeah. Says, it means you're well rounded. It's you all know, over the place. You've got a whole lot of different things to listen to. Mm-hmm. How about you? Do you listen to different things when you're. I don't want to say working because. I do work. You, you, you are looking for work as you're look as you're searching. I worked before, although <laughs> usually the places that you work at choose the music for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I, when I was thinking work, I was thinking school work, yeah, as well because that I actually do have a different lineup that I do. For like other stuff, like I typically do the same kind of music when I'm doing the dishes versus when I'm uh, in the car versus whenever. But like when I really, really need to focus on something that doesn't require like auditory brain power, mm-hmm. um, I will like if I really, really can't focus, but I still need white noise, I'll do like fan sounds or like piano covers Mm -hmm. of like songs that I know, mostly anime songs, (laughs) Mm -hmm. but to like keep my adrenaline going to keep me focused, I'll go for like my pop punk playlist. So like constantly do like Panic at the Disco, Fall Out Boy, MCR, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I like that. Green Day. Good bands. Yes. Good bands. Ooh, Mm -hmm. Green Day. Green Day. Yeah. Back in the day, mm-hmm. Green Day. Feeling that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. absolutely. I, I feel like I, I'm a combination of all of you because, like, if I'm really trying to concentrate on something, I'll listen to classical or instrumental because I don't want to be thinking about the lyrics. Right. And I don't want to get sucked into yeah. that part of the song. I just want to, you know, concentrate on what I'm working on. But, like, when I'm painting, I listen to cheesy 70s music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, ballads and, you know, because yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm getting all my creative stuff out here. Yeah. So just give me some creative stuff in the background. But when I'm cleaning the house, I'm listening to 90s rap. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, 90s rap. And we, yeah. <laughs> and yes, we are in a church, but I'm not ashamed okay. to say it. Um, you know. I said Fall Out Boy in a church, so. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. There's nothing wrong with Fall <laughs> okay. Out Boy. You know, I'm talking we like. We balance. We balance. I'm talking like Dr. Dre. I got you. Yeah. We know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> you know, ride or die kind of stuff. stuff. Um, T-Pain. T-Pain. <laughs> Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ring, ring the bell. <laughs> the song about ring the, ring the bell. I see you. Bouncing yeah, your head, yeah. you know that mm-hmm. sort of stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's me yeah. when I'm mopping the floor. Club music, club music, club, club music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know, it, mm-hmm. it it keeps you going while yeah. you're while you're cleaning the house. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, is there any kind of music that you just can't get into? Yes. What's that? I'm not a jazz person. Okay. I don't like the jazz. I don't like the saxophone. <laughs> I I'm I'm with you. I think sometimes it's just a little weird. And I'm just not into it. Yeah. No, that's okay. That's totally just, okay. Uh, yeah, like Kenny G. Is that his name? I don't like yeah. him. Yeah. Gross. Just makes you fall asleep. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I'm just not into me. it. Not into the jazz. No. That's pretty much it, though. I like, I can get into pretty much anything. Mm-hmm. I also don't like a lot of, I can throw in a screamo song, but one's enough. Half of one. That's exactly what I was going to say. It was screamo. I wasn't sure if that was the right word for it anymore. I don't know. Like literally shoving the microphone in their mouth. I'm, yeah. (laughs) I want to know. know. I want to know what you're saying and I want to be able to hear it so I can feel that too. You know what I mean? Like, because I can't, I don't know what you're saying and what, what, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's, that's just one thing I just, I've never been able to get into at all. Yeah. How about you? Are you the same way? I mean, a screamo would be. My least favorite. It would. I mean, I know it moves people, and aw- yeah, that's sure. awesome. Love it. Love it for them. But yeah. um, I do like jazz. I like opera. Like I can really get into a lot of a lot of different things. Um, I just find a lot of joy in music, mm-hmm. and so um, I mean, it's not. I got stuff that's definitely not my first pick, but um, but yeah, screamo. It's. 
I get like her. I could do a song or two, but then after that, I'm kind of like I can't. Yeah. Kinda switch gears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like I want to. I want to know what's actually going on. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And are you? Why are you so mad all the yeah. time? Yeah. Is there nothing how, that makes you happy? How can we help you? Can I bring you some puppies <laughs> yes. or some warm chocolate chip cookies? Mm -hmm. Will yeah. that make it better? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have enough money for therapy. Yeah. You know, it's to me, it's uh, it's almost like South Park. It's like listening to the guys from South Park mm. making fun mm. of music mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's like oh crap that was supposed to be a real song yeah yeah <laughs> and I just made fun of it yeah but yeah it just I can't I do you have anything that you can't just I I think there's something that I can like out of any genre of music like if I say I don't like a genre of music there's always an exception right right like as a music major I had to get into lots of classical mm -hmm. against my will. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I love the romance era of mm -hmm. music, the romantic era, just because it's a lot more moving. And I know, like, our current generations of people that are currently living have often lived in a period of time where that's – the purpose of music in our eyes is to be able to feel things. Mm -hmm. But like in like the classical era, you know, even as opposed to the Baroque and Romance periods, um, was very much about like music as a science almost. Mm -hmm. Like being like being creative in terms of like what we can technically do in music rather than, like, what we can make people feel. Mm -hmm. Well, and with a lot of classical, there's a very specific pattern. Yes. A, B, A, B. Yes. C, A, B. You know, it's... I could say the same about pop music. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. I mean, when you think about it, as far as entertainment, expression, those sort of things mm -hmm. in that time period, they didn't have anything else. Mm -hmm. So this was everything. It was math. It was um, symphonies. It was harmony. It was learning all of these things. And, yeah, not just to, to give someone the feels, mm -hmm. but to teach, mm -hmm. to entertain, all those things. You know, like, reggae isn't my thing, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that I won't hear a reggae song. Mm -hmm. That, Like, if I found a reggae song that I really liked, I'm not going to, you know— you're not going to play an entire it. genre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think and like I'm, I never got in. Sorry. No, 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 please. I never really got into rap much either just because. And again, not to blanket a genre, but there are just a lot of songs that really don't have good messages. Yeah. And, as, and growing Absolutely. up in <laughs> growing up in country and CCM, it you don't it's even know where way. to start. You don't even know what to sort through. So you just. Don't try. Yeah. Well, exactly. And it, it does depend on what you grow up with because, you know, someone in a, a very Christian household wouldn't be listening to LL Cool J. LL cool. You know, mm -hmm. the the doing it mm -hmm. song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that sort of thing. <laughs> no, we wouldn't be listening no. to such things. But at the same time, you know, and you wouldn't be exposed to reggae. But, you know, maybe. I'm very extremely white. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but it depends on your travels, too. It's I mean, okay. you're going to start traveling. You're going to start going places. If you ever, ever, ever do get to go to Jamaica, mm -hmm. which I got to go to Jamaica a couple of years ago when we renewed, renewed our vows, and that was my first exposure ever to reggae. And when it's genuine mm -hmm. and when it's done by people who know what the heck they're doing yeah. and not just, you know, a bunch of white dudes in a garage somewhere— it's amazing and it's political and it's oh yeah I'm passionate sure. mm -hmm. um you know not the i liked the magic song rude that came out a couple yeah. of years ago um yeah but that was white dudes in their garage yeah you know if you listen to uh some bob marley live tracks of the stuff that he did you know before he was killed mm. i mean just you know really riling up the crowd um, freedom and political and everything else, and it wasn't it wasn't just a bunch of words mm -hmm. on a piece of paper, mm -hmm. you know. It, and it and it just had that beat, you know. And it just never it kind of like disco, 
where it was one beat for everything. Mm-hmm. So you could dance no matter yeah. what yes. was on. Mm-hmm. And it's the reggae beat. Yep. All the time. The whole time, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. <laughs> I have a... I, yeah, everyone's, Bob Dylan and, like, the same... Yeah, plan. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bob Dylan and, and very folksy, very political kind of thing. Yeah, the exact same thing. And um, depending on what you're exposed to, that really determines if you're going to like it or if you're just going to be like, meh. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. I get it, mm-hmm. but it's not, you know... My thing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, thingy thing. <laughs> yeah. Although about rap, though, I, like I said, I don't know, like, what to listen to, what not to bother with. But, like, I've actually been exposed to it more since getting into K-pop because in a lot of K-pop groups, it's, like, expected that you have, like, vocalists, dancers, and rappers. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a staple of K-pop. Hmm. Interesting. Kind of like, uh, da 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 I can't think of the band they did in the end. Lincoln Park. Mm. Lincoln Park had yes. the 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 guy who yeah. screamed a lot. Yes. And then they had the rap guy. Yep. And then well the guy who screamed a lot unfortunately yes. killed himself. But but yeah, every single song had the rap part. A little bit of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And but the song wasn't the same if you took out the yeah. rap part mm-hmm. or if you took out the, the screamy part. Yeah. It just it wasn't a full right. song. Yeah. So yeah. that's interesting that K-pop is doing that. Mm-hmm. Huh. Like there are a couple recent ones that BTS came out with in English, actually. Uh, Butter and Permission to Dance that I would highly recommend. They're bops. But like if you took out the rap part, it wouldn't be the same song. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, that's a good point, though, talking about new things. Well, who's somebody else? I mean, I know you said Haley Steinfeld. Who's somebody else new or maybe new to you that you think people should get into? I mean, I'm really digging Olivia Rodrigo right now. She's so Olivia good. And who's the, who's She's that? so good. Um, I would compare to um, Haley Steinfeld, kind of. Um, she's really good. Her music is like the lyrics. You can feel. You can feel what she's feeling. Oh yeah. You huh. can feel. Yeah, she went intense. through a really bad breakup, I believe, and like. You can feel what she's feeling. She had she's me the first to a one that... song the other day, and I was like, "Listen to this! It's so good." Um, <laughs> that is so rough to write about. Yeah. yeah. Um, who, you're just talking new artists right now. Well, or new to you, mm-hmm. someone that you know, like Shawn Mendes, has been around for a few years, but I, I just yeah. started really digging him. Have you heard of Julia Michaels? Yes. She's really good. Love her. I mean, her I... song about anxiety. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. it yeah. touched my. There's. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've heard. To, of Julia Michaels, but I she feel like I've heard of. Her. You may have. She does some duets and different She's things. She's super with people. cool. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. always just jumps in and mm-hmm. does it. But she did this song with Selena Gomez about mm-hmm. anxiety, and I feel it in my heart yeah. because I have anxiety and because mm-hmm. you know I've had anxiety and depression for years. And she just put it in this way that was just so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Title, please. It's just called anxiety. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, but <laughs> I thought you were saying about anxiety. And I'm no, like, what's the title? It, it what's the title? Anxiety. Um, it actually um, you know, my friends tell me I could take a pill to make it better. You know, that's nice. I wish mm-hmm. that would happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just, uh, it's very personal. Just like that Shawn Mendes yeah. song yeah. in my blood. Just, mm-hmm. you know, I can't. It doesn't work for everybody, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. leave me alone. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm holding hands with my depression. Yeah. That's a to Yeah something off i'm mm-hmm. holding hands with my depression i don't want to go out yeah and then i sit back and i think about what i'm missing and then i feel bad you know that mm-hmm. kind of thought it was yeah. it was just really really brilliant i just loved it um she they're really um ed sheeran ed sheeran is he's still a, solid he's man. amazing still solid. he's amazing i he had a, a cool cool i would love to see him in concert i really thought that after like the fourth or fifth album mm-hmm. That he'd get no. weird, mm-hmm. no, you know, like yeah. good. how good. a lot of younger uh, musicians just plain get, get weird. weird. Yeah, mm-hmm. and he hasn't. Yeah, no, he's he's really good. Is he's got a new his new song about habits is yeah, it's <laughs> really good. Isn't Addicting. that with uh, little guy, little Canadian guy? What's his name? Bieber. Oh, Justin Bieber? Yeah. No. Like I don't he think has another so. one. He has, with, a, or he he has, has another a, song a with Justin Bieber. With, I'm sorry. Bieber. Little little Canadian guy didn't really, you know, describe it very well. But mm-hmm. he is. He's tiny. Mm-hmm. You pat him on the head. <laughs> um, He's probably still taller than me. I don't know. I mean, he may be technically midget. 
I can say midget, little person. He may be technically midget. Um, I was trying to look here. things I'm looking I know, at. I yeah. <laughs> Bieber. Bieber height. fever. He's 5'9". He looks so much He tinier. was little, though. Like He, he was little. Back in the day, he was little. Well, but he he's wore the now. baggy clothes. Yeah, they were all too big for him. him. He yeah. still does that. My clothes yeah, are too big. Ed Sheeran's short, too. Yeah, Ed he is. Ed Sheeran is short. Yeah. He is. He's so good. Like He's so good. I can't. Like He's so good. I love that Ed Sheeran has humor about himself. Mm-hmm. He did this thing with Jimmy Fallon where the, the clip. Love Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> it was a, a clip of Ed Sheeran singing metal. Mm-hmm. But it was. <laughs> It's the it's, excuse him what? Yeah, you'll have to look it up on YouTube. He picks like gangster rap songs and yeah. metal songs and sings them Ed Sheeran style. Oh, nice! So it's a clip of him like, yeah, gonna go pick up some hoes down at the drive-in. <laughs> do, 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 do. You know, just in, yeah. in Ed Sheeran ness. It is like you will be snorting. You will be laughing so hard. Oh I'm already laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Look that up on, on YouTube or I'll send it to you later. But it is yes. brilliant. And I love it that he has that ability to laugh at himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just And John yeah, Mayer's the same cool. way. Yeah. Yeah. He seems so cool, cool dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd love to see him. The one thing I can't understand about Ed Sheeran is how he writes songs like Thinking Out Loud and whatever and then turns around and writes songs like Shape of You. Like I, It just seems like two opposite worldviews. Yeah. That are coming out of the same artist, and I, I would just like to know what the logic is <laughs> behind I, all that. I think that sometimes artists are a lot deeper than we give them credit for, mm-hmm. in a way. Because I mean, look at Lady Gaga; mm-hmm. she did very Lady Gaga kind of stuff with the meat dress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then she did an alt countryish yeah. album called Joanne. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I would say the same thing. About Lady Gaga, but like not as much. Yeah, but go it's on. like how did how did what maybe one side of the brain kicked in and then the other side yeah, of the, the other, brain yeah. kicked in. It's like I how did know. you do that? Yeah, how did the same person write both? She is very interesting. And then uh, I'm old. I will freely admit that I'm older than all of you. Um, so I do listen to like Sinatra and Tony Bennett mm-hmm. and stuff like that. To hear Lady Gaga sing New York, New York. Mm-hmm floored me just all right i'm done you know (laughs) Mm -hmm. i'm dead that's it just just to switch these genres like that yeah yeah. it's amazing she's 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 talented and i think it's like us i'm a little bit of country i'm a little bit of rock and roll i'm a little bit of hip-hop i'm a little bit you know what i mean like a little bit of alternative rock yeah they might just hone into that what they're feeling at the time and at that exact mm-hmm. second like, okay i'm gonna do a little bit of country now because this is how I'm, you know or i'm gonna do I'm a little bit of yeah. diversity I'm, this is yeah. what i'm feeling right now yeah. okay yeah. yeah so maybe you know mm-hmm. like a k-pop singer if they branch out on their own maybe they'll do an album where it's like alt country mm-hmm. i don't know that country is really a common genre well in <laughs> But you know, but or, yeah, I got you what you're know. saying. Or full of power ballads. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Power ballads. Mm, love power ballads. <laughs> power ba- power oh. ballads are, to me, the ultimate singing in your car yes. and not caring who's looking. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. Because I don't, I don't have to travel for work anymore. But before, I was driving to Milton every day, and that's an hour mm-hmm. each way. Um, for people who don't know where we are, we're in Pennsylvania. Um, so sometimes I would get stuck in traffic, especially around Little League time. Mm-hmm. So there's people on my left and people on my right, you know, stuck in traffic mm-hmm. on the highway. And I am rocking Absolutely. out. Mm-hmm. And people are looking at me and I don't care. I don't care. Because I'm Heck singing. Yeah. 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 Singing, I want to know what love is. <laughs> All out of mood. And just not. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I don't mm-hmm. care who's looking. And sometimes people will look at you like. Okay. What is happening over mm-hmm. there? <laughs> or just I love it when I see people doing you. that. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's just, or you get in really, really into a rap song. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the Humpty Dance. The Humpty Dance. I'm sorry. I have to admit this. But the Humpty <laughs> Dance is like my karaoke jam. Okay. So if we, we ever need to throw down in some karaoke. That's it. That's it. That's All my right. jam. And, you know, you get into it. Yeah. And I was into it at a traffic light sometime 
podcast. Like you cannot oh. stop me right now. No, no, I'm in it. Can I can't stop. stop. Won't stop. I can't <laughs> think about words. All I'm thinking about is get the bottle of Hennessy you had on your shelf and just let me introduce myself. <laughs> and these people are looking at me like. And you were your rock star right then and there. You're yeah. Like, Nobody can stop this me. Like, this is my time. Yeah. This just me. Time. Just me. Yeah. <laughs> no, Central it's, not just, it's not just you. It's yeah. not just you. So what I, you. I've belted since you've been gone this. with the windows yes. down, yes. like driving. That is Kelly <laughs> Clarkson is just Absolutely. the queen she of the. She felt so good for that. Living, what's that expression about um, living well is the best revenge? Yeah. About just. Dang, girl. Yeah. You do your thing. She's good. Mm-hmm. She is good. Love she is her. good. Demi Lovato. She's I got love some Demi Lovato. Lovato. Demi, yes. Demi Lovato. I wasn't sure. I honestly wasn't sure if I should bring up Demi Lovato because no. she's no, absolutely yes. bring up Demi Because Demi why? Ooh, love her. She's she's like my spirit animal. She oh. really <laughs> is. But I'm bringing uh, out bring K-pop, up. Jackie. Bring okay. Okay. Well, I mean, love. she's been a little controversial lately yeah, with fine. the pronouns and the things. Well, so oh, I forgot love. about that. But. Yeah. So I'm, doesn't, I'm sure. never in the news. So yeah, I haven't but, been. Yeah, but no love. But she's got talented. Songs. Love her. So talented. Absolutely love Amazing. her. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. Pipes. Man. Oh my gosh. Ma- Pipes. Pipes for days. Mm-hmm. Seeing her Listen. live when she sings um, "How Great Thou Art." Oh wow. And you're like her sobbing concerts. because it's so fabulous. She wow. does her show, but she usually ends with like "How Great Thou Art" or something, she and you're did. just like literally feel like you're like her voice is like projecting you through the air, and you're wow. like oh, flying. <laughs> it's so crazy. good. Mm-hmm. When she did uh, "Something in the Water," yeah, yeah. the song mm-hmm. "Something in the Water." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I had never heard anything like that before. Mm-hmm. That was like right when I was first becoming, you know, mm-hmm. a Christian. Oh yeah. And I heard that, and I was like, "Whoa, yeah, that's what it's about." Just that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of, okay, now of, I gotta listen to it. Oh yeah, Carrie Underwood. She's she is just. You know how, like we were talking about Stevie Nicks. She just puts her whole mm-hmm. body, her whole everything, into this song, and something in oh, the water yeah. is mm-hmm. about. Uh, a newly baptized person experiencing some things. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things where you listen to a song and it's like, that's my story. Mm -hmm. How'd they get my story? But Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, there's a song for that too. Well, yeah. (laughs) Um, But it's, there's a lot of songs out there like that. It's like, did you reach into my head? Yeah. Were Mm -hmm. you standing outside Mm -hmm. my window? Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that? Because that's way too real for me right now. Killing me softly. Killing me softly. Now, which one? Yeah. The original Roberta Flack? That's not the original. It's Lori Lieberman. Okay. So the original Lori original, Lieberman. Original, original. Original, original. Oh. Versus Lauren Hill. Mm. The great Lauren Miss Hill. Yeah. Lauren Hill. Yeah. They each have their different flavors to it. Yeah. I think. But when you hear one of Lori Lieberman's performances of it, it's just not chill, but like chill. Mm-hmm. Like, it's very much stripped down from Roberta Flack and from Lauren Hill. But, like, there's just so much emotion in mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. No, I totally and, like, get that. Like, you really can hear the lyrics for what they are. Mm-hmm. Just with acoustic guitar. And that, what we were talking about earlier with cover songs and stuff, like, a lot of people don't know that Prince wrote Nothing Compares to You. Mm. So if you ever hear Prince... Rest in peace, Prince. If you ever hear Prince sing it, it is completely different. And Chris Cornell, who I genuinely cried when Chris Cornell died because I love Chris Cornell. Um, He did a version of Nothing Compares to You. It's just him and one guy on a guitar. Mm. Uh, And it's just it'll break your heart because it's it's a completely different perspective than than the Sinead O'Connor I, wouldn't, I don't want to say poppy version, but mm-hmm. it was pop. Mm-hmm. It was it, mm-hmm. it was radio. This is just oh, heartache. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just gets you. It gets you. Is there Are there songs like that that you know just off the top of your head? Just, you know, it hit you right in the chest when you heard a song. Like, that's my thing. Yeah. How did they know? Man. There's been, there's been quite it a happens. few. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's been quite a few, and it depends on... What's going on in life, and yeah, um, and they can be happy, happy songs too. Oh, absolutely, be sad songs. Um, Zach Williams has a few songs. The Christian artist Zach Williams. Um, I can't think of the one. I can't think of the song. Lauren Daigle has some good songs uh, too. That there was a Zach Williams song, and it's about. 
can't think of what it. I think I know which one you're talking about. It's it's like I'm saved or I'm something. I don't know, but it's like yep. Yeah. All the lyrics, you're just like yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Feel it. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. I we were know. we were talking about that song on Sunday, and I didn't know this song has been out for a while. I just heard it recently, and it's called "If the World Was Ending, You'd Come Over, Right." That's Julia yeah, Michaels. Yeah, I heard it. And um, through TikTok. her boyfriend, what's his name? The dude. The dude. Yeah, he's good. Sorry. Yeah, and I had. So I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. Anymore. <laughs> and I was. We were just having a musical discussion, talking about it, and she's like, "Yeah, that's been on TikTok forever." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't saying it like well, that. No, 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 no. But it. It's like, oh, yeah, I know I that through know. TikTok. I'm old. People I don't use it TikTok. all the time in their videos. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> but old. I mean, like, <laughs> the lyrics to that song, it's just like, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's Demi, yeah, uh, Demi Lovato, Anyone, is mm-hmm. a really good uh, song that hits yeah. me sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to listen to that one. It's really It's really, it's really good. intense. And it's about her struggles in life. Yeah, I mean, she's had a lot really of good. struggles in life. Yeah, um, absolutely. Lauren Daigle. What's Lauren Daigle's one? Um, uh, da, da. They were playing it on the radio like crazy. She's got you a really, say. You what? say? Yeah. You say. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, that is a good one. That's a really good one. There's a bunch. I should have wrote them down. I know. There's so many different <laughs> so songs. Many. That just, like, we're going to think of 10 million of them when we like, leave. I should have said that. There's uh-huh. a song um, a song that I play for that I always felt like in high school. It's um, Girl Next Door by Saving Jane. Saving Jane? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, Girl, Next, girl door. Next Door. Yeah, it's just like, she's the prom queen, but mm-hmm. I'm just the girl next door. It's oh, just yeah, like yeah, one yeah, of those yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I've played that for like the youth kids before and just like, it's just one of those for the girls. Just yeah. kind of like, you kind of feel like you get it. you're not good enough. You know, yeah. I'm not enough. So yeah. that was, that's one that hits me. Pretty, I have that on my playlist. Aww. You know, one of those like, oh, feeling sad for yourself. Yeah. So you <laughs> belong with me, but sadder? Yes. Yeah, yes, Taylor exactly. Swift, Taylor like, Swift. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing, only a little bit older. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, well, older. I was, I was older saying older, sadder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. 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 There's it's, a, a, it's the same kind of thing. There's another song that it's uh, newer and it's like A, AKT or something like that is the band. It's three letters and it starts with an A. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not. AJR? AJR. Yeah. And it's, I'm not, I'm not okay, but I'm better or mm. something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's yeah. like, you know. I'm not great, but eh, I'm better, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah. it, it, okay, I get it. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I feel it, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. I feel like that's AJR's whole vibe, though, is just like, eh, life sucks, but, you know, I'm living. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> I'm okay. It's okay. But, no, I can appreciate that, too. I can appreciate the dark humor of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we're starting to run out of time, but believe it or not, yes, we've been talking for almost an hour. Um, if you could, let's see, what should we talk about? If there's, if there was just a musician that you feel like everybody should know, like, all right, I'll give you an example. So there's this odd Icelandic band called Kaleo. K-A-L-E-O, Kaleo, and they're alt rock, so they have a kind of Stone Temple Pilots, mm. not nearly as hard as Audio, Audio Slave, but with really good guitar riffs and stuff, Okay. and I listen to them a lot in the car, and it's just, it's just really good, mm-hmm. just really good guitars and just bass, and I play bass, so I'm big on bass, um, just really good nice it's good stuff and nobody's ever heard of them because they're from iceland um is there anybody that you listen to or you have listened to that's just weird and one-off and dude you should check this out aside from Haley steinfeld for you aside from Haley. yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) hmm Ooh, i gave you a tough one as the closing yeah i really am trying to think of that well Um, i'll go first yeah yeah please i'm gonna look at my itunes here yeah 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 I play a lot. That my favorite songwriter is Rich Mullins, and he died two years before I was born. Oh, but he he just is a master as an instrumentalist, as a songwriter, just everything. His stage presence is just so laid back too. 
Like, he'll spend almost as much time talking as he would singing. That's cool, though. I dig that because that's how you that's how you get to understand about the song or about the person yeah. in general. Yeah, like, and he, he wasn't afraid to speak his mind about the world or about the way the church was acting that wasn't very godly or whatever. That's cool. He's putting himself out there. But he would also say things like, I picked up this heavy smoker on the highway, and I I think I lied. I think I said I was getting off at the next exit, so he'd have to get off. Oh. And then I wrote the song as a penance. Oh, That's interesting, though. You said Rich Mullins? Rich, Rich Mullins. Mullins. Yeah. I'm going to look that up. Huh. Yeah, mostly in, like, the... 80s 90s okay but he's like one of the forerunners of ccm oh, okay. for a good reason okay okay yeah yeah he's pretty i've mentioned bts much. and i i mean they're hitting number one on the charts lately but i feel like a lot of people discredit them just because they're not from an english-speaking country mm -hmm. but like i think there's a bts song for everybody just because their genre has varied so much over the last eight years like, in the beginning, they were very much, like, we're rap, we're dark. Mm -hmm. And um, I look at those old music videos, and I just laugh because, like, you guys tried so hard to look street. You guys look, tried so hard to give off this bad boy image, and I know you're dorks. <laughs> <laughs> that so happens, they've, so. they've gotten a lot more, they kind of went from that to where they are now with a lot more of the poppy stuff. But, like, they still do stuff like mic drop or whatever that's still, like, rap, EDM, whatever. Mm hmm Hmm. Rather eclectic. Yes. I, I like eclectic because I'll go, like, in a single day, I'll go from Billy Joel to Demi Lovato to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, to Shawn Mendes, to BTS. I think that keeps it really fresh. Yeah. You know? I, could... I said BTS a lot, but I do listen to other K-pop stuff like Blackpink, Stray Kids, Twice, et cetera, et cetera. That's cool. A lot of good names to check out. A lot of things to look up on the YouTube. Ladies, did you check your... I just don't know what to say that people don't know. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'm looking at my playlist right now that... Like Chainsmokers, Halsey, mm -hmm. Haley Steinfeld. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I have on here right now. And then. What about like an underrated one or like yeah, one that know. people would just discount? I'm going to give you one of those. I'm going to give you one of those. But this is going to sound weird coming from me. Harry Styles. I love Harry Styles. Yeah. I love <laughs> yeah. Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. His solo work is really good all of yeah. their solo work is really good actually and his yeah, lyrics are deep mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um the song uh sign sign of the times mm -hmm. there's a song called sign of the times and if you listen to the lyrics it's incredibly profound about uh the story is that a woman gave birth and she has two minutes to live because she's going to die from giving oh. birth. And she has two minutes. And this is what she mm -hmm. says to her baby. Mm -hmm. And it's just and then Julian Michaels and J.P. Sachs, somebody else, look those or some other chicky cheek did uh, a, just a straight piano cover of it. And it's oh. it's beautiful. Okay. Okay. Um, I can't think of the other girl's name. Um, but, yeah, Harry Styles, yeah, of all people. Mm -hmm. And he covered Lizzo. I, yeah. And I love Lizzo. Mm -hmm. Just. Psh, mm -hmm. So. Put it out there. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. I have what? one more recommendation because I haven't listened to Hanson for a while, but I feel like people think Hanson dropped one single in the 90s and then booked it out of there. But, like, Hanson is still doing stuff, and mm -hmm. it's really good. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. And they've kind of, like, kept their general genre since their beginning. Their voices are a little lower than they were Slightly, before. yes. And they're all married. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they actually have a lot of, like, Really catchy, really clean stuff. Yeah. That's cool. I love um, her, H-E-R. Yeah. She's super cool. And um, Ingrid Andres is really Ingrid cool. Ingrid Andres. Ingrid Andres. Her song Lady Lake has oh, yeah, been my Lady jam. 
Um, hmm. Ingrid Andrus, she's really cool. She I just did something with J.P. Sachs, sorry, on a, okay. an award show. It was really neat. I feel bad not mentioning anything from my country side <laughs> as it. much because I do it. love country. Like, I listen to a lot. But Gabby Barrett's pretty much mm-hmm. my jam right she now. Can. Okay. She's got some good, good she jams. She did, uh, I think, I think I know the one song she did. It's not coming to mind, but I heard it all the time on the work radio. Yeah, yeah, you would have heard okay. it. Okay. Oh, then I hope he cheats. Yep. That's mm-hmm. Or she cheats. Or whatever. I hope. Yeah. It's I hope. It's I hope. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. That's actually like really good storytelling it is as a songwriter, story. I think, because you're, it sounds like a really like generous song and then you get to the end of the course and then it's like, and then I hope she cheats. Yeah. I know it's, I it's really kind of like snap. I hope that you have a really fantastic time, but I also hope that you're gonna that get you get the time. exact same yeah. thing you gave to me. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I definitely have some people I'm gonna be looking up tonight. I'm um, gonna take pictures of like all of your things because I see you guys writing yeah. down artists, <laughs> and I didn't bring a pen. I didn't. When I put this up on uh, all the streamings, I'm gonna have to write down some of these names mm. and put them in the comments, but. I'm I'm afraid we're going to have to stop because we are out of time. I think we should continue this discussion yeah. on another yeah. occasion. Yeah, sure. Maybe check out some of these I artists because we didn't talk about like Michael Jackson. There's so many. Yeah, there's Oasis yeah. so much more. There's or so much more. Anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could talk about this for hours. Yeah, we sure could. Um, we just yes. got to do a genre literal, at a time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, let's only talk about country mm-hmm. for an hour. Mm-hmm. I could. You yeah. could? Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Right. I might hold you to that. No, I could. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ladies, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me in the tool shed yeah. um, and talking music. And yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, and I think so we'll fun. be doing this again. I think so, for sure.